Garvadhana Sanskrit Garvadhana Garvadhana literally attaining the wealth of the womb is the first of the 16 samskaras sacraments rites of passage in Hinduism Topic description Garvadhana is a composite word of garba womb and dana attain wealth and it literally means attaining the wealth of the womb it is a private rite of passage, marking the intent of a couple to have a child. It is a ceremony performed before nishaka conception and impregnation. In some ancient texts, the word simply refers to the rite of passage where the couple have sex to have a child, and no ceremonies are mentioned. Literature <inaudible> 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 Scholars trace Garvadhana right to Vedic hymns, such as those in sections 8.35.10 through 8.35.12 of the Rig Veda, where repeated prayers for progeny and prosperity are solemnized. Prajam Kardatam Dravinam Kardatam bestow upon us progeny and affluence. The Vedic texts have many passages, where the hymn solemnizes the desire for having a child, without specifying the gender of the child. For example, the Rig Veda in section 10.184 states, The desire for progeny, without mentioning gender, is in many other books of the Rig Veda, such as the hymn 10.85.37. The Atharva Veda, similarly in verse 14.2.2, states a ritual invitation to the wife, by her husband to mount the bed for conception. Being happy in mind, here mount the bed, give birth to children for me, your husband. Later texts, such as the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, in the last chapter detailing the education of a student, include lessons for his Grihashta stage of life. There, the student is taught, that as a husband, he should cook rice for the wife, and they together eat the food in certain way depending on whether they wish for the birth of a daughter or a son, as follows. The different Grihasutras differ in their point of view, whether the Garvadhana is to be performed only once, before the first conception, or every time before the couple plan to have additional children. To answer this question, the medieval era texts of various schools discussed and offered diverse views on whether the ritual is a rite of passage for the baby's anticipation in the womb or for the wife a rite of passage of the baby would imply that Garvadhana Sanskara is necessary for each baby and therefore every time the couple intend to have a new baby, while a rite of passage of the wife would imply a one-time ritual suffices. <inaudible> <inaudible> Ceremony According to the Grhya Sutras, at the beginning of the performance of this samskara, the wife dressed up and the husband recited Vedic verses consisting similes of natural creation and invocations to gods for helping his wife in conception. The rite of passage marked the milestone where both husband and wife agreed to have a child and raise a family together. See also Samskara